buttons. Here, each team is questioned individually. Good chance to build up points because we give 20 points for a correct answer and there are no penalties for wrong answers. Now, we'll be meeting the team from McLean County and giving them their Chiron questions in a moment, but first, let's meet their coach. Hi. Hi, I'm Sylvia Barlow from McLean County High School in Calhoun, Kentucky. We are located in western Kentucky, south of Owensboro. Good luck, team. And we certainly echo those sentiments. And who are the team members? Well, first of all, here's Scott. Hi, I'm Scott McLaughlin. I'm a sophomore at McLean County High School. And our captain today is Joe. Hi, I'm Joe Jenkins. I'm a junior at McLean County High School. Great. And finally, Sean. Hi, Bill. My name is Sean Chambers. I'm a sophomore at McLean County High. All right. Delighted to have each of you with us. For the first of all, we hope will be several appearances here on Scholastic Challenge. Well, all you have to do now is watch the monitor and uh, listen to the questions. Should be pretty easy. Watch this. Before you brew any coffee, you can start your point total percolating by rearranging the letters here to form the last name of what current U.S. Secretary of Defense? Weinberger. Correct. All right. The first mystery novel written in the USA was called Edgar Huntley. Published in 1799, it caused a sensation by describing which of these isms, popularly known as sleepwalking. Somnambulism. Exactly. Since they fought in woods and fields, it's fitting that what word suggesting forest wardens names the military forces led by these two men in American history? Rangers. Right. Two-parter possible 40 points on this one. You could make the word Canada with these clue letters, but I want you to go much farther south and name the capital of Cuba and the country that connects Central and South America. Havana and Panama. Precisely. Good. 40 points. What same last name is shared by these two men? One, our third Chief Justice, and the other, the first black member of the Supreme Court. Marshall. Marshall it is. And finally, a quote. These are recorded as the last words of what woman abolitionist and poet who had written the words to the battle hymn of the Republic? Who was she? Okay, time's up, and the answer on that is Julia Ward Howe. A very good Chiron around McLean County. You are at 120 points right at the moment, and we'll be giving the team from Bullet East a chance to score some points, but right now, let's say hello to their coach. Hi. Hello, I'm Robert Stroman from Bullet East High in Mount Washington. Bullet East is in uh, south of Louisville. This year it was hard to pick our team because we had so many good students to choose from. All right, good recommendation. We're always delighted to have uh, astute young people here, and we'll begin by meeting them. Here's Christy. Hello, I'm a junior at Bullet East High School. And our captain is Ronnie. Hello, I'm a senior at Bullet East High School. And finally, Cliftina. Hi, I'm Cliftina Weekly, and I'm a junior at Bullet East High School. All right, great to have you with us. You know, what we didn't do, Christy, we didn't get your last name, and they'll all be mad at me if I don't make you say it. Christy Owen. All right, good. Now. All you have to do is watch the... No, no points for that. That was just routine. Okay. <laughs> watch the monitor and hear your Chiron questions. If you don't want to bend the number 10, you can rearrange the letters to form the last name of what current U.S. Secretary of Education? Bennett. Correct. Now, the word cabal originated from the initials of several ministers of Charles II of England. Cabal has come today to mean a group of which of these? Which one satisfies that description? Quarter years. Oh, I'm sorry, schemers is the answer on that one. Now, to Peru's ancient ruins in Peru, you could go to these ancient cities where in pre-Columbian times, what Indian empire was at its height? Cusco. Cusco. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Inca. But remember, no penalty in this round. Now, by filling in the blanks on this two-parter, you can name what two natural phenomena. One, a producer of lava, and the other, a producer of funnel clouds and destructive winds. Volcano, tornado. Precisely, and 40 points for you. Good. What same name is shared by these two men? One, an English man of reason, the other, an American man of treason. Arnold. Right. This quote is attributed to what prophet who founded the Islamic religion? Mohammed. Correct. And another 20 points. That wraps up the Chiron round for Bullet East, and you now have 100 points. Good going.
Next up is Holmes, and just before their Chiron questions, let's say hello to their coaches. Hi. Hi, I'm Joan Gregory, and this is Ruth Johnson. We're the coaches of the Holmes High School team from Covington, which is in the northern part of the state. Uh, about three years ago, we adopted the International Baccalaureate Program, and our interest in the competition has grown out of that. Um, this is our first year of, of active competition. Good luck. Well, we're delighted to have uh, those bits of information and certainly a, a good team to have representing Holmes. First of all, here's Joe. My name is Joe Fortier. I'm a junior at, ho junior at Holmes. Excuse all right, me. and our captain is Tony. Hi, my name is Tony Lovensheimer, and I'm a sophomore at Holmes High School. You'll always want to travel with Tony. Boy, he knows his geography. <laughs> and Maya. Hi, I'm Maya Heist, and I'm a junior at Holmes. Great to have each of you with us. Welcome. This team already has 80 points. Let's see what happens with our Chiron round, Holmes. Now, you won't feel any anger at all if you can rearrange these letters to come up with what former Secretary of the Treasury, who is now Chief Advisor to the President. Regan. Correct. Now, of these three words, which one identifies a plant, such as a mushroom, that gets its food from dead or decaying organic matter? Neophyte. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the first one, saprophyte. Try this one. You'll recognize these as the names of cities in Texas and Alaska. But they are also the last names of men who held what high government position a heartbeat away from the man in the White House? Vice President. Correct. Two-parter now. By filling in the blanks, you can name what two biblical figures. One of them was the wife of Abraham, the other, a reluctant prophet who had a strange encounter with a big fish. Sarah and Jonah. Exactly. 40 points for you. Good. These two men were wordy brothers. William was the founder of psychology studies, while Henry was one of America's most complex novelists. What same last name did they share? Wundt. Ah, oh, no, I'm sorry. It's James. Wundt. William James and Henry James. Here's a quote for you. This generous tribute to mom was written by what Viennese doctor who later clouded the issue by developing theories about the Oedipus complex and other psychoanalytic complaints? Sigmund Freud. That's the name, and 20 points is the score. And that wraps up the Chiron round. Let's see how those scores have changed. At this point, McLean County has 120 points, Bullard East has 100 points, and Holmes has 180 points. Time for us to get along to our Kentucky round at this time. All the questions having to do with the great state of Kentucky. Third year for this round. Learned a lot about the Commonwealth and shared some interesting information along the way. Teams, you will be in direct competition on this round, so have the buttons ready. Ten points for a correct answer. We take off ten points for a wrong answer. First one on the buzzer gets the opportunity to answer. Good luck. Born in 1881 into one of Kentucky's most prominent families, what woman in 1925 organized the Horseback Angels of the Frontier Nursing Service. All right, the answer is Mary Breckenridge. Wycliffe, Kentucky lies near the confluence of what two great American rivers? Holmes. Mississippi and Ohio. Correct. Now, here's an illustrated question for you. Identify this county, the fourth oldest, which was named in 1784 for a former governor of Virginia and signer of the Declaration of Independence. Its seat, McLean County. Jefferson. Oh, I'm sorry, its seat is Bardstown. Answer is Nelson County for Thomas Nelson, Jr. What general from Washington County served the Confederacy in Western Kentucky? He went on to fight valiantly at Shiloh, but was killed there by General Grant's forces. Who was this Kentuckian? Answer is General Albert Sidney Johnston. It was first grown in Kentucky in 1775, and until 1915 was Kentucky's largest cash crop. Bullet East. Barley tobacco. I'm sorry, hemp is the answer on that one. Here's an illustrated question for you. We'd like you to name this Kentuckian. Born in 1892, he became one of the great folk singers, collectors, and composers in the United States. He's famous for such songs as Black is the Color of My True Love's Hair. All right, the answer is John Jacob Niles. How many colleges are in the University of Kentucky's community college system? What number of colleges? Okay, the answer on that one is 14. What epidemic struck and ravaged Kentuckians both in 
1833 and 1873, causing many deaths. That would be then cholera. Here's an illustrated question. Name this Kentucky native a governor, our 26th, who actually held the office three times. He was twice governor of Kentucky and once the governor of Montana. All right, the answer on that, Preston H. Leslie. What western Kentucky town, originally named Pekin, was later named in honor of a Chickasaw Indian chief? It still bears that name today. All right, the answer on that is Paducah, Kentucky. And that wraps up the Kentucky round. A short break's in order. We'll be right back to recap the scores. Then we have two more rounds of competition. Stay with us. Welcome back to KET Scholastic Challenge. Recapping, McLean County has 110 points. Bullet East has 90 points. And you see Holmes with 190 points. Each week at this, program, at this time, our program is seen throughout the school year. And students from all over Kentucky compete to appear on our season finals. And once again this year, the friends of KET are contributing $1,000 to the library funds for our season's final winners. The two runners up in that championship game, each will receive $250, and the grand winner will earn $500 for their school's library. Okay, it's time to move along to the packet round now. In this round, each school will have its own packet of questions. There'll be 90 seconds to answer 10 questions. We give 20 points for each correct answer, but 20 points off for each wrong answer. And if a team gets all 10 correct within our time limit, we give them a 25-point bonus. I'll ask these questions only once, so if you don't know an answer, teams, you may say pass. There is no penalty for passing. So first up is McLean County, if you're all set. Here are your questions. Mark Twain is best known for his earthy American humor, but in 1896, he published a biography of what other worldly, ill-fated French girl called the Maid of Orleans? Who was she? Pass. The metal buildings called Quonset Huts got that name because they were first manufactured at Quonset Point in what American state that is the smallest in land area? Rhode Island. Right. The Colonial Virginia Resolves were issued in 1765 to protest what British act that sounded as if it were aimed at philatelists? Pass. On the screen, what is the slope of the line which is perpendicular to the given line? Pass. Although it's now an endangered species, medieval artists used as a symbol of sin what jungle cat that cannot change its spots? Leopard. Right. There is now a wall dividing Berlin, but many centuries ago, what wall named for a Roman emperor was built near the border of England and Scotland? Pass. Joyce, a light bulb uses 600 joules of energy in 10 seconds. What is the power usage? 60 watts, 600 watts, or 6,000 watts? 60 Six watts. Correct. A book three inches high contains 600 sheets. At this rate, how many sheets would there be in a book a foot thick? 2,400. Correct. A stone statue of an angel inspired the central image for what first novel by Thomas Wolfe that has angel in its title? Pass. Although his Union forces meted out great punishment to the Confederate Army at Gettysburg, the cautiousness of what general of the Army at the Potomac allowed Lee's for... Okay, and that wraps up the packet round for McLean County. Let's move right along now to the packet round for Bullet East. Robert Frost wrote a poem about New England's birches, but he was born in what state where he might have written about native redwoods? What California? State? Yes, some baseball games seem to last a century, but a century is also a not uncommon score of 100 runs in what British sport involving batsmen? Pass. Walt Whitman was a nurse serving Union soldiers in the Civil War, but as a writer, he is known as a good poet of what Confederate color? Confederate color. Pass. This equation on the screen has two roots, one of which is negative three. What is the other root? Pass. Choice. Stratus, altostratus, and cirrocumulus are all types of iron ore, clouds, or cell formations. Clouds. Right. Choice. USA obtained from Oregon, uh, the Oregon Territory, by which of the following methods? Outright purchase, unilateral annexation, or bilateral treaty? Unilateral annexation. Oh, I'm sorry, it was treaty with Britain. Quite different from the Congress of the United States, which meets regularly, was a European Congress in 1815 held in what Austrian city following Napoleon's defeat? Pass. 15% is 20, no, 15 is 20% of what number? 
75. Correct. After he finished his heroic ride in Longfellow's poem, Paul Revere might well have taken his horse to what other Longfellow character who worked beneath a chestnut tree? Pass. 17 years before Tippecanoe, William Henry Harrison had fought in what Ohio battle in which General Wayne... Okay, and that wraps the tag around for Bullet East, still to be heard from. Holmes, all warmed up, I'm sure, and ready to go. No matter what birds fly by George Washington's Mount Vernon, there's always what bird of peace perched atop the mansion's weather vane. The right, the black hole of Calcutta was not a cave, but a small room in what kind of defensive structure that, in this country, names Necessity, Sumter, and Bragg? Fort. Yes, the United Nations General Assembly met for the first time on January 10th, 1946, exactly 20 years after the opening of what earlier international organization based in Geneva? Pass. On the screen, the value of X is what integer? Pass. Charles and Jeremiah were the first names of America's best-known surveyors. What pair whose last names identify the traditional boundary line between North and South? Mason Dixon. Right. Choice. What acid is responsible for the sour taste of vinegar, acetic, nitric, or phosphoric acid? Pass. The Janizaries were the fam infamous ruthless troops in the army of what nation that controlled a vast empire around the 14th century? The Mongols. I'm sorry, Turkey or Ottoman Empire. What percent of 65 is 39? Pass. A Chinese term meaning great sovereign gives us what word for a powerful businessman paired with last in the title of F. Fitzcott F. Scott Fitzgerald's last novel. Tycoon. Right. George Eliot's novel, Romola, concerns what Dominican friar who became ruler of Florence in the 15th century? Pass. That's the last one. Savonarola was the answer. Savonarola is the last one in that. Okay. And that wraps up the packet round for these teams. Coming up in just a moment is the grab bag round, but we're going to use that moment to check the scores, and we see McLean County is now at 190 points, Bullet East 130, and Holmes in the lead with 250 points. Okay, time to get to that grab bag round. Here now we'll give 20 points for a correct answer. We'll take off 20 points for a wrong answer. These questions are on anything and everything. Teams, you will be in direct competition on this round, so have the buttons ready. But of course, after you hear the bell, wait to hear your school name before you answer. Sometimes they're doing them right at the same instant, and it seems like I'm the one that rang the bell. Okay, here you go. All poisonous cobras have hoods, but what specific type of cobra has a name suggesting that it also wears a crown? McLean County. King Cobra. Right. When a congressman returns to his home state to see his constituents, he is said to be mending what barriers? McLean County. Fences. Yes, fences is the word. Baseball's world championship has most often been claimed by the New York Yankees, who have won how many World Series titles? 22. McLean County. 22. Right you are. Choice. The degree of ionic character in the bond of a diatomic molecule is best described from its boiling point, bond angle, or dipole moment. Well, I'll answer that one for you. Dipole moment. Try this one. Although the British have withdrawn their forces east of Suez, France maintains control of what Indian Ocean island, whose name suggests a gathering of former classmates from high school or homes. Reunion. That's it. Churchill once said, that is something up with which I will not put, awkwardly avoiding the use of what part of speech at the end of a sentence? We're always cautioned, Holmes. Preposition. That's right, we must never do that. Although his parents named him Alexandros, the Trojan prince who supposedly abducted Helen is usually known to readers by what shorter name? Holmes. Paris. Exactly, good Maya. Three pi radians is the equivalent of how many degrees? Answer, 540 degrees. Certain major events seem to divide historical epochs, as did what event in 476 A.D., which separated ancient history from the homes? Fall of Rome. Yes. Those pennies from heaven are no longer 95% copper, but contain 97 and 6 tenths percent of what metal whose chem... Holmes. Aluminum. I'm sorry. Whose chemical symbol is Z. <laughs> N. Answer is zinc. All right. When you put together the fraction that is 50% with the name of the English Admiral victorious at Trafalgar, you name what popular wrestling hold? 
McLean County. Half Nelson. Yes. Lincoln's Gettysburg Address was given at a cemetery dedication, but his speech urging malice toward none with charity for all was read at what other ceremony? Okay, the answer there is his second inauguration. Quanna Parker emerged during the 1870s as a war leader of what tribe of Plains Indians noted for their fierce screaming during battles? Okay, the answer there is the Comanches. Now, if the boys and girls who assist congressmen in their legislative duties wore lemon-colored uniforms, they might have what same designation as a type of telephone directory? McLean County. Yellow pages. Yeah, right. <laughs> Choice. A head of lettuce might turn brown in your refrigerator crisper, partly because many stored fruits release what kind of gas? Ethylene, neon, or ozone? Okay, the answer there is ethylene. Instead of saying George Washington slept here, one could say Lord Byron swam here. About what strait swum by Leander? Okay, the answer there is the Hellespont. British soldiers were known by the red color of their coats, but Hitler's stormtroopers were known by what brown color of their garments? What garments? Okay, shirts, and that wraps up the game. A final check with our judges, and we'll be back to check the scores and find the winner. Stay with us. We have the decision now. As you can see, Bullet East is our second runner-up with 130 points. McLean County with 290. And just uh, one answer ahead was Holmes with 310 points. Congratulations to our winners and our thanks to all of the participants here in today's program, as well as to their coaches and their principals, the studio audience, and as always, you folks at home. It's not time for us to leave. It's just a brief station break. Be back in a minute with three brand new teams to play our next game of KET Scholastic Challenge. Stay with us. See you in a minute. Thank you.